How's it going? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and today we are going to talk about guitar picks. Plectrums, whatever you want to call them, depending on where you're from, they are, in my opinion, one of the very first things in your signal chain. And you know, you might be thinking to yourself, well, you know, I, I've been playing with a Fender Medium or a Jazz Teardrop or something all my life, and I've tried other picks and I just can't get used to anything. I feel you because that's exactly the way I have felt about guitar picks for a long time. The thing is, is that a lot of times I think we take for granted how important they really are. I would say that they are probably the second thing in our signal chain. I personally believe that the first thing is our left hand, but the second interaction or interface that we have with our instrument is our right hand and so the plectrum that we use um, our interaction with the strings is super important to how we're going to end up sounding so um, what we're going to do is on this dylan talks tone episode what i'd like to do is bring you into it i'd like to make you a part of this experiment okay so in our Dylan Talks Tone group on Facebook. You can go search for the Dylan Talks Tone group on Facebook and become a part of that group. And what I would like you to do is submit a video. If you are willing, I would like you to submit a video and tell me what pick you're using. Tell me why you use that pick. Is it just something that you have been in, you know, you've been using it all your life? Or is it, do you have a reason for it? Um, and then what we're gonna do is for everybody that submits a video and maybe shows us themselves playing a clip of the style of music that they play, um, you could just even do it with a, you know iPhone camera in your bedroom or whatever, or your studio, no big deal. Um, but just play a little bit, show us why you use that pick, why you like it. And then if you are willing to try something else, uh, maybe there's something that you'd like to try different. Maybe there's something that you'd like to uh, experiment with. Let me know because what I want to show you is we have asked five different companies to be a part of this experiment. I picked them specifically for a couple of reasons. Um, and the main one is that what I'm about to show you is not just the next evolution of the same pick that you've been playing all your life. These guys who own these companies have engineered these picks to really make a difference in how you sound. Now obviously that's a very subjective thing, but so sound, so you know how the guitar sounds is a very subjective thing. The other thing that's very subjective but very important is how you interact with the guitar. So if you can change how you play because of the pick that you use, it's possible that maybe you'll be inspired to do something new. So let's look at uh, some of the choices that we've got here from five different companies. And I'd like to find out from you if, uh, first of all, one, what you use now and how you use it. We'd like to see a video in our Facebook group that says, this is what I do and how I use it. And then on top of that, what I would like to experiment with, okay? So let's talk about some of the choices that we've brought to the table and I'll tell you why I selected these five companies to participate. So uh, let's first of all talk about this group of picks right here. <clears throat> now these are uh, V picks out of Nashville, Tennessee and they are all made out of acrylic. Now the interesting thing about the things that Vinny has done if you go to vpicks.com and look at all the various picks, uh, if you look at these, they each individually have a different design. Now you can see that there's some of them are very close to conventional designs that we play with every day. But if you start to pick them up and look at them, you'll see that the edges are different. The, um, some of them have holes in them. Some of them have grips. It's not just the uh, shape of the pick but it's also the taper on the edge. Um, and on top of that, uh, Vinny claims that you'll never drop a pick, 
because the acrylic warms up in your hands and it sticks to your fingers, um, which is very, very interesting. It's something that I have messed with for the last few months and I do, I do find it to be true. Um, the next one here I wanna talk about is, now these are very classic designs, but they are very uh, interesting material. So I don't know if you noticed that or not, but what you see on the table here, and as we go through them, these are not conventional materials, they're not conventional shapes, and they are definite different twist on the normal guitar pick. So that's definitely true with Vinny from V Picks in Nashville. Now we're gonna look at Coleman Custom Picks out of Georgia. These are very classic designs, but they're made out of brass. Now I've played with um, brass picks uh, from Coleman Custom Designs in the past, and they're very interesting because they feel like a thin pick, obviously the thickness of the pick is, is, is very similar to like an 80 millimeter or 75 millimeter pick, but it's very hard obviously because it's brass, okay? Um, so those are very interesting. Uh, the next really very cool design, even though they are very conventional looking, they are definitely different. Now the next group of picks I wanna to talk to you about are these ones right here. Now, a lot of people are very curious about Dragon's Heart Picks. Now, you, you've probably heard of them, you've probably seen their funky design. Um, the, his concept is very, very interesting because what he's done is created a shape of a pick that gives you three different picks, uh, or more, depending on how you hold it, in one, and then the materials themselves and the bevels on these particular ones here are very, very interesting. So the idea here is that you have a conventional pick held one way, a conventional pick held the other way uh, of a different shape, and then the round side of a pick available without losing any kind of real estate for holding on to the pick. That's kind of the idea behind those. Very, very cool design, something that's a little bit different, but I think you'll find very natural in your hands. Uh, the fourth design we have is, is over here. This is, he's actually sent me a few. Uh, this is Stone Picks out of Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, of course, the first thing we wanna talk about is a stone pick. Uh, stone is a material that many, many people, when I was putting this together, asked me for uh, my thoughts on. I'm not gonna give you my thoughts on the pick itself right now, because we want this experiment to go off without my feelings coming into it. Um, here is a carbon fiber, this is bone, and this is actually coconut for playing like ukulele and uh, mandolin, light strumming instruments such as those. Now, one of the other very interesting materials that we have been asked about many, many times is wood. So, Rosebud Guitars sent me a selection of their handmade wood picks, okay? And different shapes, different thicknesses, Look at this. This thing is absolutely humongous. And you might say to yourself, why in the world would I play with that thick of a pick? There are reasons. Uh, as we go through this, we will talk about it. It's very, very interesting. And then he has, as opposed to, not opposed to, but in addition to, Vinny over here using an acrylic material, he also has a polycarbonate material. He says it's harder to work with than acrylic, but it does give you a different feel. So this is a very interesting material as well. Also, the Rosebud um, family. <clears throat> so, five different companies, a bunch of different thoughts on what a Plectrum should be or what it could be. Um, it's the future of guitar picks. I mean, people are definitely putting some very interesting and cool and new ideas here. So. Where do you come in? I want you to submit this video that we talked about earlier that tells me what you like about the pick that you use and why you choose it. If it's in this group, if it's any pick in the world, I don't care, even if you make them yourself, it doesn't matter, I wanna know why you use it. Secondly, and, and definitely show us, you know, make a little video, tell us, tell us why. I would also like you to tell me what you would like to try. So what I wanna do is I wanna take a, uh, some of those videos, we wanna go through them, and those that are really excited about experimenting with something new and have participated in this, I'm gonna actually take a selection of these picks and I'm gonna send them to you, and I want to get your take on the future of guitar picks and where it's going. And I want you to tell us in our Dylan Talks Tone Facebook group, 
uh, what you thought of these picks and be willing to submit a second video that gives you your thoughts. And even if it takes a week or so to play and start to really get to feel, because that's one of the things I learned uh, when starting off this experiment before I even ever brought this to you, was I thought I was gonna hate them all because I'm a Fender Medium guy. And it takes some time to take a pick that has a different shape or that has a different uh, thickness to it and you say, oh, I'll never play with a pick that thick. Give it some time and learn uh, what the point of that pick is and what you're really trying to do with it and you may find that you really enjoy it. So, here's what you do. You go to facebook.com, you search for the group Dylan Talks Tone, you add yourself to that group, you submit a video and you say, this is what I like about the pick I'm using now and this is why I choose it. Here, let me show you. And then you tell me why you would like to experiment and what you would like to experiment with pick wise. And maybe we will be, make you part of this experiment that we're, we're doing. My name is Dylan. This is Dylan Talks Tone and this is a lot of fun. Plectrums are really cool and if you allow yourself to really think about it as part of your signal chain, you change overdrive pedals, you change string gauges, you change everything else to try to find a different tone, but for some reason we hold on to that pick that we've had for 20 years, it's time to change. I think you're really gonna dig messing around with this experiment if you wanna be a part of it.